Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Cities Skylines 2. This is episode 21. Just as I thought it was time to do something drastic, our tunnel, nice and cleared up. You can see how quickly it seems to be refilling. I think this was one of those game loaded up, traffic was clear, and oh, now we're going to get traffic flowing again. And you can see how quickly traffic flows into a complicated manner. And really, it's just this whole, everybody wants to get out of the the middle and right hand lane to go straight like the only way that it gives you to go which is just ridiculous why why this traffic circle makes no sense in the way that it's structured lane wise i was starting to think that it's time to cr create a a tunnel that's going to go all the way down straight down to the uh you know I can tell this is going to get backed up again. It's going to get backed up again. So, I think we're going to we're going to go for it. Now the question is how to structure it because there's different ways. I mean, we can pull off of it right back here. And that might be the way to go. But then you're kind of dealing with fire. You know what? Here we go. Um we're going to take Yeah. This might have to come back up the road a little bit further. Going right underneath here. Or do we want it? Oh my gosh, can we go above ground? That seems scary. Might be able to make it an above ground kind of situation. Let's let's see what happens if we take a three lane one one way we could have it go all the way down to there and then just one way the other way so far so good we've got this road over top off the road where we needed only a couple houses removed and we've got it down to the freeway now it's just a matter of turning it into an on-ramp in either direction uh, so we want it to be able to divert and split and with that house there, it's going to be tricky. Coming in on the right-hand side, looks like it's going to be easy enough, but uh, let's let's see here. How do we want to run this thing? I think we'll kind of go two lanes, two lanes. We're going to curve. We're going to drop it to 30. It, it's an awkward looking intersection, but it definitely is going to work. Uh, you can go either direction. You can go down or you can go up. Again, a couple of houses are removed, but the new highway is. It's in. Somewhere in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow should return to normal. And now most of this traffic, or not most, but a lot of this traffic, is going to want to take the new highway above straight to the on-ramp. And you see the majority is definitely going that direction. Uh, what I'd like to do with our tunnel is drop it down to a two-lane Yeah, dropping it down to two lanes, cleaned it up a bit. Traffic's still opting to use it. Some of the traffic has a very valid reason to go this way. They need to turn around and go back down the other four lane. And this gives them that opportunity with less traffic, with all this freeway traffic now, you know, diverted off the path. I think that's going to help drastically and we've somehow managed to make it work in a single intersection we've we've made it work into basically a triple uh, intersection here where you're either just going straight on or left or 
slight left. Little traffic jam here for no real reason. A bus, a single bus, well, a second bus really, is holding up this entire area, including a fire engine, which I think is why it's not moving. The bus is waiting for the fire engine to come past, and the fire engine is waiting for the bus to move. And nobody wants to use the left-hand lane to go around. Everybody's trying to clear the left lane for the fire engine, but nobody can move forward. I got this thing cleared up by moving the bus station itself 100 feet. And in doing so, that bus that was just stuck freed up. You can see the people, a lot of them still waiting right here. We just moved it. That's not even 100 feet. We moved it 50 feet. It just slid it down a little bit. The second bus actually pulled up to it did its thing and then off it went but by by getting that little side lane here for the bus it did what we needed it to do and it got things moving and it's clearing right up in fact we already no longer are classified as a jam though obviously there's still some traffic uh, to clear up but this side's cleared up this side's now cleared up the jam that was here is cleared up this side's almost all cleared up there's just a couple cars left there and this side's clearing up fast enough but I mean, it was pretty well backed up. You can see the next couple of buses on their way. Looks like as a pedestrian, Anna Stevenson has been caught in an accident that involved a vehicle going over the side of the bridge. Yeah, that's not her. That's a different family headed for Regat, which means out of town. I believe it was right at the beginning of last episode we encountered a traffic jam here in geriatric town with our original this is the very first off-ramp that was connected into the town and, and then our road that connected over into uh, the other neighborhoods and between the two traffic was backed up really bad along this road uh, Vermont Street but we added in this ramp here to get straight onto the freeway and that's cleared things right up. It's alleviated most of that traffic. So that's good to see that we have uh, successfully uh, eliminated that portion of traffic. This is Second Moon Radio Classical. Now that population, Unlike it's most still most struggling, most so we, we've not been adding things in for a long time here. I think it's time that we do. We, of course, added a little bit in previously. Uh, but it's definitely time to add in some, some more. I started taking our long-standing dirt road that we had winding up and then just dead-ending and deciding to connect it up to this end. Uh, we need more than a single route that connects over. Probably going to need at least a third one as well on this side. Uh, and, you know, eventually connecting up to the highway over there. That can split up some of the traffic running along this route. But anyway, the uh, problem I'm running into right now is the simple idea of upgrading the road. It's fine on the ones that are sideways, but there's two sections here where it's too steep. So we're going to have to get creative with these two sections of road and rework them. Uh, here we've got a four lane. Down here it's a two lane, but I think from here we, we're fine turning it into a four lane. There we go. And then uh, we're going to have to, I don't know, wind this sucker. Don't let me forget. We've got uh, power lines over to uh, Watchtower here. Okay, well, if we can connect it up there, let's connect it up there. Through a little tunnel. Okay. Through a tunnel. That's the way. So getting rid of this guy. Okay, well, that's made it work. Meanwhile, let's get the uh, power hooked up once again. All right, a bit more of a straight connection. I've got some castle ruins up here. That's cool. Does that count as a tourist attraction? Love to see a little one way. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. I got it. I got it. I got it. We're going to do a little. Uh, 
That's cool, some castle ruins up on the hilltop. All right, well, we've got the base structure. We've got a road connected. We've taken our little attraction that unfortunately is not getting any credit uh, for being just that. And really, even all the way out here, we've got a couple houses dealing with the toxic transfer. Uh, most of this I've placed as commercial. Trying to get away from that industrial edge. Uh, we'll deal with that in time. For now, though, we want to start filling in some neighborhood stuff. Uh, we're going to start over on this end. We've got our little traffic circles here linking up all these roads. And we're going to take a main road. All right, well, we're starting to make something out of what's here. Uh, yeah, we've done at least a bit to help the population grow. We're back over 90,000, but one thing I'm picking up on is we have another traffic jam. And let's see, so it's way back here at the ramp. Uh, we're only two lanes through here, so that would be an obvious... Oh my gosh, it's right. Oh, that's a traffic accident. It's an accident that's causing it. And they're just disappearing one by one. This motorcycle is just creating a bottleneck. Ah, uh, well, here, let's let's do this. Let's go upgrade to two lanes. Traffic's getting backed up back at this direction. I've already dealt with it by widening the ramp, but because we don't have the further tiles, we're running into some issues here. At the edge, we might as well <clears throat> get that full section under our control and take care of this freeway once and for all. One after another, we seem to be dealing <clears throat> adequately with traffic issues one after another they seem to get cleared up successfully so here's to hoping we can keep that trend going a little bit longer you can see our our new cargo area is running nice and smooth we have a traffic accident and those have created bottlenecks i mean we've got a semi truck here who jackknifed but otherwise uh and that's back it up some traffic trying to leave the cargo harbor but outside of that things are running smoothly we have crime scene here at the harbor but uh, two passenger ships waiting all at one we try to hijack it or something i don't know but all of this traffic's all nice and cleared up and that's that's been the trend bit by bit we find a solution Pending we keep things moving hardware. Uh, yes, there's a lot of dead along here, but there's also a lot of people who live through here. Uh, one thing I don't think I have in that area, though, is something regarding death care. Uh, we do, we do have. Guess we're okay. Well, the crematorium availability is still nowhere near matching, so I suppose uh, we need another. Back to the scene of that first big traffic jam that we had uh, uh, where we moved the bus station. See how that's completely cleared up now. No traffic at all there. I'm wondering if I should do away with our uh, forestry in this area and build a neighborhood because, as you can see, this is that section of forest that completely burned down and killed a lot of people uh, along here. 
And there's still a couple of burnt down buildings, a couple of abandoned buildings, but most of those have been rebuilt. Uh, office. Office demands are on the rise. That means our little Manhattan has finally filled out all the office buildings, and yes, it has. So office is fully in this area. We got one building that's lacking. Zoning in some more office, some more high density commercial, and some more mixed housing uh, just along this last section of our four lane one way. Wow, we're getting air pollution all the way up by the castle ruins? Yikes. Definitely don't want to be building neighborhood through here. And that's tricky because I want to build neighborhood through there. This hillside is very steep. You could do a lot of low density stuff through there. Uh, but it would pretty much have to be like what I'm doing now, which is going sideways. Definitely can't go up and down with the roads. So we've got to figure out how to uh, kind of connect that all up. The nice thing about the tunnel is you could go over top of it and still find a way to put in some housing at the edge of the tunnel. So I've figured that much out. What I have not figured out yet is a proper connection. There still is no connection at this point for any of these roads, at least not just yet. Like I was saying, I think the best way to go about this is to make sure that these roads, well, that can, ah, there you go. Well, there's two roads connected. These two run side by side for a little bit, and maybe we take one of these. And come into it there. get somewhere with this slowly but surely but like I said all of that down at that end can't do anything with because of the pollution unless you move the industrial maybe there's there's your kicker move some of that industrial just the the edge of it pull back the edge make that commercial or office low density stuff All right, filling in the whole neighborhood. This is all residential. This is commercial and then office. We'll see how that goes. Uh, there is now a demand for industrial. Once again, we've been growing the population rather rapidly since starting to expand this. We're up to 96,000, but the money continues to grow. Lots of demand for different things are also popping up as we do this. Unlocked a new signature building switch on. Humble toaster to the self organizing sock drawer. This factory makes everything that runs on electricity. Let's go ahead and pop that in before we do too much else. I was thinking about starting the next subway line. I want it to run along this road and then also get somewhat into the neighborhood here, but it was trying to figure out how, how to connect that up and maybe it's a on the four-way and then come across maybe that's what we need the switch on is going to give us plus two percent industrial efficiency and plus one college graduation chance citywide and we definitely want it to fit in with our industrial network but do we have space left for here no that's too close to the highway and so is that 
So do we want to put it over here? I didn't really want industrial over that way. We want to keep our industrial where it's at. Do we want to try to sneak it in back on this edge? No. We just have to cut some more roads back here. We need some industrial at the moment anyway. All right, well, we've built up this bell-shaped newest area addition to our industrial zone, and I've made the, the roads kind of weave back and forth, like interlocking fingers. Uh, so a few connecting to the far end of the bell, a few connecting to this end of the bell, uh, so that it keeps that traffic split up as it goes through the area. Some of it connecting almost directly up with the uh, ramp, and some of it connecting up at the back, which definitely is going to add to the traffic, but we've added our switch on place and that's all of our current signature buildings. As we approach 100k people in town, we're getting close, and we've been handling needs as they arise. One thing that hasn't been dealt with in a little bit and finally has a need again is some high density residential and medium density residential. We've had no need for it uh, for quite some time. And the best place to, of course, get that in is gonna be along here. And, you know, like we've got a large parking lot that has plenty of space, which means we can definitely handle some more uh, mixed housing. do one high density location right there and that'll get us a bit of the uh, both of those needs handled no matter of time till we top that 100k and that's going to come with an achievement as well uh, isolating the industrial is definitely helping <laughs> trying to deal with the original industrial zone and not running into some major air pollution issues or ground pollution issues has been rather challenging. Uh, we had already replaced pretty much all of that neighborhood. You can see we're still getting just an edge of it, but we have our new area uh, and getting the air pollution there. But you can see with the commercial now popping in where it's popping in, it's avoiding a lot of that. It's, it's about the housing need. It's at your home where you gotta avoid it. And of course, that means we wanna change this little neighborhood out swap it out with something else but where to go what to do with that as we continue to grow and expand of course we have our our birch crest that we're just starting to fill in um, we can definitely get some more neighborhood like into here and there's of course still the rest of woodland park that's not filled in yet i, I wasn't planning on filling all of it in but you never know at this point we might just do that uh, but there's definitely areas to get into. Of course, we've, thanks to highway, picked up some tiles, you know, in all three major directions out of that. But there's a big pocket available for residential up here. We have a big pocket for residential. Well, no, not really. The industrial is going to kind of cut that off. That's going to have to all be industrial. We'd have to get over into this area to turn that all into uh, residential. And that we very well could do. This has been a local public service announcement. But so much of our forest you can see is all burnt down. Uh, we're kind of down to just this, so if we're going to continue getting into that. Finances are not an issue, though. I think we have enough for the time being. Uh, dang. December 24. Okay, we're into that second winter now. We haven't had snow yet. I just noticed that we've hit winter. But uh, continue to grow and expand. And like I was saying... 
I'm, I'm ready to delve into a bit more subway, connect up that subway a bit further to help alleviate traffic. But for the most part, we have alleviated what traffic there is out there. There's not too many jams occurring, uh, except when you have accidents. But I can see a couple little things, traffic jam kind of happening uh, in this area. And there's, yeah, traffic accident leading to traffic jam right through here. Uh, we'll definitely use more subway on that main line area for sure. Uh, but things are doing well. There's not much new happening. It's more of just growing. The death rate is skyrocketing. We've got to get out of here. You go. I'll stay and clear up the mess. We'll be back after this. That is going to do it for this episode, though. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. And bye for now.